Welcome back. So now we've made a very simple joke application with random Chuck Norris jokes, but I want to make something bigger. I want to make an application where I can create my own joke, where I can update jokes, where I can delete jokes, where I can search for jokes, where I can show all the available jokes in different categories maybe even. I want to make a real joke application. So that's what we're actually going to try and make in this series. And we're going to kind of just use some of the ideas we got from this guy just by getting some information from the wire sending some information from the wire, but we're actually going to start by just making this a local storage application where we can create these jokes. So that's what we're going to do. Now this lesson, I'm just going to get started by actually creating a new application. I'm not going to reuse this uh, Chuck Norris joke application, I'm going to create a new one. Just to recap how to do it and to show you how simple it is now to create new applications. So first of all, we already have an application right here. So we already installed this Yannick Cordova Yannick stuff. All we need to do is kind of just create a new one by calling either the tab set up right here or we can also go down and actually create one with a menu. Now I'm more of a menu guy so I'll make this guy right here with the side menu and what we have to do is go into our WebStorm. So jumping into WebStorm, here I'm actually inside the current application that I created for my um, Chuck Norris joke app. Now we're going to go out one folder. This is my Yonic workspace. This is where I put all my Yonic projects right here, the Yonic folder. And here I'm going to create this project. So I'm going to call that command Yonic start and I'm going to call this the joke app. That's going to be my application and I'm going to add this with a side menu. So I'm going to press enter. It's going to install everything like we did last time. So let's just let that run. So it asks me, do we want to join this to the Yonic dashboard? No, I don't want to do that yet. And it created my project. So it created the project for me. Now all I need to do is kind of just open the new project inside WebStorm. Now I do that by going to the top here, going to pick file, going to pick open and just find my folder path. So right here under Yannick right now, I have my three different apps available. This is like the one I want to work with, the joke app. So I say open to that one. And I'm going to say this window to just close down the other project. And there we go, it opened it up inside this current window right here. Now when it did that, it actually also shut down my terminal right here. So I want to reopen that. And now I'm actually inside my joke app right here. So it's ready to do a Yannick serve now. Yannick serve, and there we go. Now I should actually be up and running with my Yannick application. We'll just let this run and hopefully it'll pop up with my blank Yonic application. So next lesson, I'm ready to create my joke application from scratch. There we go, the application is actually up and running and what I'll do is just, I'll go to developer tools, I'll go in here to more tools and I'll say um, developer tools here. You can also see the shortcut right here on your machine. It's different from Windows and Mac. So I'll do developer tools and then it'll pop up. I'll pick the small icon down here and I'm back at developing my phone app. So sweet. I'm up and running on an iPhone right now and next lesson we'll start building this application. See you next time. Have fun.